establishing alfalfa into existing stands. Farmers and ranchers often inquire about seeding alfalfa directly into grass stands without terminating the stand. Alfalfa can be a valuable portion of a hay or pasture stand simply for the nitrogen. Having legumes such as alfalfa in a forage stand is an efficient way of adding nitrogen to a pasture system and increasing productivity. In other parts of Canada and the U.S. where moisture tends to be more plentiful, some producers will drill or broadcast legumes into grass stands with some success. In Saskatchewan, some producers do attempt to reintroduce alfalfa to pastures by drilling or broadcasting alfalfa. Based on producer experience, we find success more common from those who place the seed into the soil, seed into moisture, and suppress the grass, usually with grazing. In the late fall of 2009, the Saskatchewan Forage Council received funding from ADOPT to demonstrate establishing alfalfa into existing pasture without terminating the stand. ADOPT is an acronym for Agricultural Demonstrations of Practices and Technologies. The ADOPT program provides funding to help producer groups evaluate and demonstrate new agricultural practices and technologies at the local level. Sites in Lanigan, Grainland near Central Butte and Forge near Stoughton were selected for this project. The three sites were seeded in the late fall of 2009. There were four treatments at each site. The first treatment was to seed alfalfa with a drill and fertilized with phosphate fertilizer. The second treatment was to seed alfalfa with the drill but this time without the phosphate fertilizer. The third treatment was broadcasted alfalfa with fertilizer while the fourth treatment was broadcast alfalfa, but this time without the fertilizer. All treatments received 5 pounds per acre of alfalfa, and the fertilized treatments received 30 pounds of ammonium phosphate fertilizer, or 115100. The Lanigan site was hosted at the Western Beef Development Center and consisted of a very healthy crested wheatgrass pasture. By the spring of 2010, very little of the drilled or broadcast alfalfa germinated or established at the Lanigan site. As the summer progressed, more alfalfa germinated and by the spring of 2011, alfalfa made up a significant portion of the stand. The Forge site was a meadow brome and tall fescue pasture seeded a few years earlier. The stand was thin due to solenetic conditions. The germination percentage of the alfalfa was very high on both the drilled and broadcast treatments. After the winter of 2010 and 11, plant populations were reduced, but there was enough alfalfa plants to make a positive change to the pasture health. The Grainland site near Central Butte is a bull holding paddock for the Grainland pasture managed by the Saskatchewan Lands Branch. The stand is mainly crested wheat, with many native forbs coming throughout the stand. Much of the drilled alfalfa germinated in the spring of 2010, but many plants failed to establish and were winter killed the winter of 2010 and 2011. On the broadcast treatments, very few plants germinated or established. So what did we learn from this demonstration? Well, we can assume that seeding in the late fall increases the chances of seed being in moisture the following spring. We also find that seed to soil contact can be very important and seeding with a drill provides much better results. As well, where competition from grasses is minimized, germination and establishment success seems to be higher. It's important to note that the 2010-2011 growing seasons in Saskatchewan were not normal. These results may not be typical as the three sites received higher than average rainfall. For more information on this project or a copy of the final report, go to the Saskatchewan Forge Council website at www.saskforge.ca and follow the links. You can also contact the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture Regional Forge Specialist at any one of the regional offices.